so much of what we want to see change yes. is us. It's I have me. To work on it's Miriam. Yeah. It begins from our mindset. It begins from a point of decision. In this forum, we want to really ask people to be powered towards positivity. Where your mind goes, your life follows. Hello, Happy New Year. It is such a delight to be back on your screens. How have you been? How has your year started? I hope and pray that it has begun powerfully. We thank God that we are back here on your homes, on your screens, just to inspire one another, to encourage one another here at Deborah Generation Show. My name is Helen Wangoi Matho, and welcome to the show. Make sure that you have called your girlfriend, your sister, your mom, everybody. Just call them up to tune in so that we can see what God has in store for us this new year. And before we begin, I just want us to begin uh, with a word of prayer so that uh, God will guide us and we will receive the wisdom and the insight from heaven in everything that we are to discuss in this show. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are so delighted and we are so grateful for yet another opportunity that you have given us to minister to the hearts of men and women, the children that you have called to yourselves, O oh God. Father, we ask for wisdom. We ask for that you will anoint our lips, that you will anoint our minds, that you will anoint our heads, O oh God, that from the abundance of the fullness of the heart, that, O oh God, shall flow rivers of living water, O oh God. That, oh Father, you shall use this platform to encourage, to heal, to uplift. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and we believe. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Welcome, my friends. Welcome to the Bora Generation Show. And uh, we want to begin a, on a very interesting note. We want to begin on the point where we are, we just begun a new year and uh, a lot of her, a lot of us have had a tradition of doing resolutions. I don't know if you have done your own resolutions. Some people do them at the end of the year. Others do them in the beginning of the year. Uh, what is your resolution for the year? Uh, others uh, have been failing miserable on those resolutions. Uh, I had a few friends saying that this year they didn't do any resolutions. Maybe, maybe one that uh, you didn't see the need of doing a resolution. But with all this resolution, writing what I need to do, what I need to change here and there, uh, how are you able to achieve that if you still have the old mentality? So we are going to look at what kind of mindsets do you start with at the beginning of the year or what kind of mindset do you need to have so that you can have a greater season or a greater year this year, that you are able to be actively changing your life in the different areas that you need to change? So today, with me, is none other than my mom, my loving mom, Pastor Miriam Kangangi. Karibu sana, mom. Thank you very much. Yes. I also wish to bring New Year greetings now that it's been a while to yes. all of us. Yes. And uh, also thank everybody who supported us in one way or another last year. Mm -hmm. And I know some have been asking us, did you stop? Or <laughs> And then we would tell them, we are still on a break. Yeah. We are broken out and it's like we are broken in now. Yes. And so we are back with the vigor of God on us. Mm. And so we salute you and look forward to much more this year, 2023. Mm. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm. So, mom, mm. uh, we are going to deal with the mindset. Mm -hmm. I think the mind is the most powerful uh, figure of life. Uh, I was, I've been on a season of reading and People have been reading, others have been on the prayer mountain just to 
to have a perspective of the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I read somewhere that says that uh, where your mind goes, your life follows. So that really triggered something in my mind to say then, if your mind always goes to negative or negativity, mm -hmm. that is what your life will follow through. So what we need to deal with is not so much of what we write down as resolutions of mm. what I will do, what I will achieve, is first of all dealing with the renewing of our mindset. Yeah, yeah. So maybe I will ask by asking, powering up our mindset, what does that translate to you or what does that, uh, how can you explain that? Maybe we start by asking ourselves, powering, you know. You've seen these adverts, eh? when people are doing some, some, something, like you see, powered by Safaricom, mm -hmm. powered by Shell, powered yeah. by blah, blah, powered by all. Powered is like, um, I had sometimes done something and was like, what is power? Mm -hmm. And I was almost saying to myself, it's, it's the energy to to drive or the force that moves an object from one position to another mm. or brings some difference of a kind. Mm -hmm. It's like the supply that allows an, something to look different from what we think. Even looking at what we call power in governance, mm -hmm. it's like someone is told they have been given power to do what pertains to the constitution yeah. and you find there are, there are things they could not do earlier mm. but they are now doing yeah. and coming close home it's like when we did an election sometime last year mm. and uh, we had a president elect mm. and until the president elect took an oath of, of office mm. there are many things he could not have done mm. but when we gave him the power now to act on the basis of the authority that comes with that office mm. there are declarations he did then yes. even on this day of 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 oath taking mm, mm. and they were almost becoming like the signature yes. by which to go. Mm. So when we talk of powering our mindset, it is like uh, supplying some energy of a kind mm -hmm. to our minds, the way we have set our minds mm. to help us to move from one level mm. to another or from one dimension mm. to another mm. or one direction mm. pointing mm. to another direction pointing. Yes. And so I would say that, um, as you said earlier, mm. the mind is a powerhouse. For yes. me, it's a powerhouse. Mm. It's like a, um, a, a fortress. It's like, a, let me just use the powerhouse. Mm -hmm. Thinking of uh, the powerhouse is that the place where the or the satellite point mm -hmm. where you, you you direct things from mm -hmm. and you say this is the way i'm gonna go because mm -hmm. that's the tool god has given mankind yeah the mind mm -hmm. the place where a lot of production and innovation mm -hmm. take place mm -hmm. the bathing of things yes, comes yes. what the mind can see it mm -hmm. can become mm -hmm. and so what we are trying to say to our friends and our viewers and listeners is mm. that the mind is a place of bathing mm. and so there is need to power and the power now i'm just thinking as i talk this is the way a child is born mm. the the labor pangs the pain the labor pains yes, eh? yes. the pangs eh? mm. when that that pang that pain that pushes the mother to feel like I need to go to the to the loo and before they realize it, mm -hmm. it is the child that is being born. Mm -hmm. And so there are those things that should come like pangs or like um, pains of the labor that yes. must help somebody to see the way they must power their mindset mm -hmm. to get results. Mm -hmm. And we are not just powering our mindsets for 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 leisure mm. or for for lack of something else yes. we are saying we are focused to something mm. the mind setting the goal the mm. point end mm. so there is something already there that we need now to power ourselves mm. to to like clothe ourselves up and mm. say put on our good shoe and put on our good belt and take out our good hat bag mm. for us who do makeup and hair 
go out there and power ourselves mm. out by the change of a look and mm. tell ourselves, men, mm. we, here we come, mm. or women, here we are. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I would say. Wow. Mm. Wow. And uh, you've, you've just reminded me uh, throughout this first month, mm -hmm. uh, as we started the year, you go to prayer mountains, you go for prayer retreats, and there is a constant prayer that has kept on popping. Uh, not that I eavesdrop uh, people's prayer, mm -hmm. but uh, you will hear people praying, my life must change. Mm -hmm. Things must change. Mm -hmm. In my family, in my relationship, things must change. Mm -hmm. In my business, in my workplace, things must change. Mm -hmm. But do they just change Adakadabra, by osmosis, or is there a process of change? You see, I don't know how we are set up ourselves. Because at the end of the year, we are always looking at the next year like another different thing. Mm -hmm. Like there is a switch that you, you switch, switch off, off and, and you on. switch on into something totally different switch without having time. worked on yourself. So most of what people desire, mm -hmm begins with them. Mm. There's a time I learned this the hard way. Not really the hard way, but I, I got to call myself to a certain meeting. Mm -hmm. I realized things were not going the way I thought they would go. Mm. I think that was either 2013 or 20, and, and the flow over to 2014. Mm. And one time I sat someplace and told God, I think the change I desire so much, I'm craving for like anything, should begin with me. Mm. I should be deliberate in the way I'm looking at issues. Mm. If you are living with your children and maybe your life partner, there are sometimes you really feel like, oh, 2023, like you said, someone mm. is praying and mm. saying, my family, mm. my relationships, mm. my business, mm. my education, mm. my savings, mm. it must change. It is not that, uh, did you call it Daka? Da uh, adakadabra. Adakadabra. <laughs> Man, that is a term. So it doesn't just have to change. Someone yeah. has to be inten intentional. Intention. And this is the message we are bringing. Mm. Like even we are talking about powering your mindset. Mm. Uh, we are not saying allowing somebody to help you mm. power your mindset. Mm. It is so much of what we want to see change yes. is us. It's me. To work on. It's Miriam. Yeah. Then use like we have always said traditionally, if uh, you live around a very dirty compound or around a, a, a very dirty environment, mm. neighborhood, mm. you first sweep your place. Mm -hmm. Sweep your place mm -hmm. up to the gate yes. or even outside. Mm. If you're living a, along a main road, you sweep mm -hmm. outside the gate. Mm -hmm. Ensure that your compound is swept very well. Mm. And outside there, the, the, if there is a life fence, it's well trimmed. Mm. And uh, if there is something that needs painting, it's well painted mm -hmm. and you're communicating. You're telling people this, we need this is the standard yes. that we accept around here yes. without talking too much, yes. without praying like, oh, this year. Mm. Because what I believe is and what I've been learning is eh, mm. this life is a continuous progression. Yes, it's like uh, it's when we talk about when we take our children to this baby clinic, yes. they, they check on milestones. Yes. They see how old is the baby? Yes. Now, should we introduce solids mm. or should we introduce another food apart from the mother's milk? Yes. Yeah. Life is the same. Mm. Regardless of how, how young or old we are, mm. there are milestones. Life is a milestone. Yes. It's, a, it's like a staircase. It's like a journey we are yes, taking. Yes. And so some of the times when we really want to say my style, my family, mm, my who, my mm, relationship, mm. it is only that we need just to get to look and see what did I bring on mm, board? Mm -hmm. What did I do to make it better last mm. year? What were my contributions? Mm. How did I do did I relate with my spouse? Mm. Was I that person that is always wanting more than they are giving? Or was I that person who just sits in the house and is always saying, I was not left for money for milk yeah. or this kind of thing. Yes. This man of mine keeps coming late. I mm. don't know, you know. And maybe when they are coming late, it's because they are trying to 
to to ensure that you're not they don't see you for long because they know that the venom that yes. you're going to release yes. man it's going to take yes. them to the grave sooner yes. than it is, is expected mm. so even as we talk about powering the mindset mm. we are talking about in this forum we want to really ask people to be powered towards positivity progression or pro- proactivity mm-hmm. instead of regression mm-hmm. or fixation like you know, you're just there like a zoo zoobie mm-hmm. and you there you you just crying and always trying to look for mm-hmm. for somebody mm-hmm. to blame mm-hmm. for the outcomes mm-hmm. so we are here to tell people mm-hmm. As much as it's a new year and their resolution mm-hmm. it's okay if you're used to the tradition of writing resolutions mm. I have tried myself <laughs> it did not happen yeah. so I I'm like I am praying and asking God so resolutions 2023 By, Maybe by, by February you have forgotten. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Even you feel like did I do the right thing? Yes. And so well there are those who are very good at those resolutions mm. and they work for them. Mm. Because we are all different. We are cultured or born from different mothers mm. and it's what works for type A mm. blood group and type B positive or mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. Or, or negative mm-hmm. and no positive mm-hmm. that is what works for different genes mm-hmm. or different families mm-hmm. and so as we tell you to power your mind mm-hmm. set also look at where you're coming from do not copy miriam because maybe there is also a tradition under which miriam is coming from mm-hmm. or yeah or that has brought miriam so mm-hmm. far you you know now As we talk here, we are not telling you this is A and you'll get an A plus. No. 47 of you in a school <laughs> like we have seen boys and girls score yes. great marks yes. which some of us are still in a dream place yes. asking yes. was this real mm-hmm. or not real. Mm-hmm. We also need to tell our students to power their mindset yes. positively yes. to yes. do the right things. Yes. And so what we are simply telling you who is listening to us and especially our gender gender meaning yes. us women yes, yes. we must power our mindset positively mm. because we have a great agenda mm. for our families for generations not just for this for the small family mm. because i am thinking i am thinking as i'm sitting here i may go out of the way but i think it's good to talk this mm-hmm. miriam speaking today was someone's girl one day mm-hmm. one somebody's mm-hmm. baby mm. and she grew up went to school with other girls mm. then she became grown up she got an employment mm. and met a man who mm. came from another family mm. and became someone's wife yes. and as we are talking here i am a mother yes. who is likely in the next two, three, four years likely to be yeah, able grandma. to become a grandmother yes, yes. because my son is clocking 25 mm-hmm. And so in I have to power Re- my reinvent yourself. my mindset mm-hmm. because when I was someone's baby no oh, you thought like a baby. a baby and when I grew up you have to somebody says I I see like you do or you mm-hmm. don't and I say that yes, <laughs> yes I do and yes, I don't yes. there are things that changed mm. and i had to power my mindset in a in a in a certain s- way in a special or particular way mm. to be able to to not conform but to be transformed yes. you remember what paul says in him not romans romans, romans 12, 12 yeah. that we be transformed, transformed and not conformed to the standards of the world mm. so as we power our minds sets mm. as we grow grow them mm-hmm. let me use the word grow as we grow our mm-hmm. mindsets mm-hmm. or our thinking mm-hmm. systems we must be able to also adopt mm. adopt to changes at mm. every level mm. not to just be crumbled mm. by levels mm. but we must be able to advance depending on requirements and the necessities that come with age yes. so like i'm now starting to look at myself mm-hmm. let me use myself today mm-hmm. i'm now starting to look at myself and thinking soon or later another girl from another mother will be introduced in my family, family. Mm. and uh, i'm starting to power my mind mm. to understand like i'm broaden, broadening my mind mm. to be able to receive a foreigner yes. we call that in kikuyu modo aja mm. yani mtu wa nje yes, so yes. i'm talking generally to women mm. because i think we are the ones 
who really sometimes have issues mm. men are closed up somehow mm. and it's not easy always to read their mm. minds mm. but as we love to talk we love to talk and yes. share our minds yes. until sometimes we don't even know what it, it, who relates with what we are releasing yes. and so even as we power our minds eh, mm. we have to cluster different people for different issues yes yeah different expressions mm. and i'm looking also at the woman in the bible i love hannah of the bible yes remember when she was praying yes she didn't have a child mm. and she prayed to god mm -hmm. and uh, ellie was telling her hey, you drank mm. and maybe yeah. she she had not even known what it is like to, to have taste. wine yeah. for some days mm. because she must have been spoiling herself with fasting yes. that god could hear her mm. and so when she's praying to god and ellie says go and uh, then go there and come back and mm we shall may the lord hear you mm. she went out there and did what needed to be done yeah and even when god blessed with her with samuel mm -hmm. we know what the bible says after yes. winning him mm. she brought him to Eli, Eli and he grew up there mm. but there's something that really amazes me mm. she did not just leave it at that mm. she powered herself yes she encouraged herself in the lord and yes. knew the need that was there mm -hmm. and the bible says that every year she would come to see Mm. her son mm. who was in the care of another person yes. a man mm. without mama's love yes. and she would supply clothing every year mm. and it's like she had powered her mindset in a way that though god has blessed me with a son and i said i'm gonna give him out to him mm. so this one means that there's something i must be doing and it must be a positive effect, effect. Because she could have gone back home and cried like many women would cry. God, you have given me a child and mm. you're asking me. Mm -hmm. I'm also seeing the issue of Abraham, Sarah and yes. Isaac. Yes. Where you will see the way they were able to say, wow, this is the blessing of God. Mm -hmm. And then they would allow Abraham himself, you know, secretly yes, went yes. to sacrifice the, the son. son, but God looked at him and said, let me not take this mm. one. Your faith has passed the yes, test. Yes. So those are positive attitudes that we are seeing, positive mm. attributes. Mm. Deborah in the Bible is another very good example mm -hmm. that we can't leave out considering that yes. this is coming from to you from Deborah generation yes, show, yes. that she powered her mindset and wrote up as a mother in Israel mm -hmm. and said how long should we be how long should we be 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 the, the our enemies power power us mm -hmm. and we just sit there and mm. she powered herself and mm. said man this battle must be won wow. and I want to say as we power our mindsets our basis is on God's word yes maybe we shall have another episode yeah. or something mm. where we shall see the need to know where are you powering yourself, yourself. From. Yeah. yes yeah wow. wow great 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 inspiration right there mm. and what we are saying is things don't just uh, happen like you switch on and off but uh, it it begins from our mindset it begins from a point of decision where you decide that uh, this has not been working so far for me do i need to change my mind mm. around some things mm. i need to focus on myself i need to change my life by a process of determination of looking at things you need to let go and things you need to embrace and by by the grace of god in our next episode we are going to look at two types of mindsets that we're going to dive in and we're going to see the character of God, uh, how, how the character of God can be able to help us to be that person that chooses to have a mindset that grows, a mindset that is proactive, a mindset that is, uh, is not reactive, the mindset that is set goals and mindset that is willing to work and grow themselves. And for this, we are very grateful that you have joined us. You have accompanied us throughout this show. Let's see each other in our next show. Keep on praying. Keep on making those decisions, very intentional, deliberate decision to grow and power up your mindset. God bless you. Till next time.